guys. Once again, this is Joe. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, use some of the uh, free uh, software that we can uh, use to come up with a more effective collaborative online teaching. In this video, I'm using OBS as my recording uh, device. And I'm going to show you how we can use, uh, how we can utilize the use of Microsoft Whiteboard, which I uh, showed you in my previous video how we download, how we can download the Microsoft Whiteboard. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this, uh, these tools, Microsoft Whiteboard, plus my uh, Wacom tablet. So, in, in this video, I'm using, once again, my OBS as my recording device and install the Microsoft Whiteboard in my laptop and connect it with digital pen. So, these three are actually free software loaded in my laptop and using these three devices we can definitely come up with a more effective uh, collaborative online teaching with our students so let's get started so we need to open first our uh, whiteboard this is the Microsoft whiteboard interface so by default it was it has a uh, grid and if you notice these are the different tools in Microsoft whiteboard you can choose the different color of the pen red pen, blue pen, green pen, and others. And we also have neon yellow high, yellow highlighter. If you're, if you're going to highlight some uh, important uh, uh, topic in your uh, discussion, and we have an eraser. We have a ruler, lasso select. And then uh, here we can actually insert or paste an image we can write text note okay so these are the different options we can also import a PDF file so I'm gonna be showing later on so if we're going to use for example this one this uh, text you can write anything okay hello everyone one so that is an example you can also uh, delete that one you can clear the canvas okay and then we, we can uh, freely write anything in this uh, this is what we call the canvas or the flip chart so hello students okay you can also use the highlighter this one you can also erase okay now another cool thing on this uh, whiteboard is you can actually draw any shape 
and it will automatically receive to a desired shape because the ink to shape is enabled from the setting okay so for example I'm going to write a circle if your circle uh, drawn circle is not recognized by the software it will not automatically convert it it should be recognized so for example I'm going to draw this one so as you can see automatically it converted into the right shape for example triangle okay so you can easily demonstrate to our students the different shapes using the freehand you can use a different uh, color okay. you can actually use a flow chart you can use uh, these tools to discuss the flow chart to your students so if this is not recognized it will not be converted to it's just a matter of practice so it's not recognized now if i'm going to erase this one the one that is being erased are those figures or shape which is not converted automatically by the uh, software so if you want to remove that one just clean or clear the canvas okay you can also use actually this is very important in mathematics for example if i want to sorry i want to draw a triangle and then space by a triangle can easily show to your students okay so this is for example this is the base of the triangle and then you can write the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared then you can highlight you can show to them the so simple like that this is very interactive okay you can also use so again i'm going to clear the canvas and another thing is this ruler okay, you can move the ruler you can use your uh, mouse roller to move the roller horizontally and vertically so this is horizontally placed because it is already in zero degrees from here you can draw actually a line okay. just put the pen on the edge of the roller then you can move and move the again and then to the edge of the ruler again you can draw and this is just an example That's how we use the ruler but actually we can freely uh, we can freely draw a triangle without the use of the ruler okay and then let us clear again the canvas you can also draw a table sorry my mouse is moving
can also draw you can draw a table can easily make a table and if you want to add columns or row just click this one this one and you can actually use this to create for example you are creating a truth table we can use this also for t in teaching digital electronics so for example this is the input a b and then this is the c so zero 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 one one like that okay and also i can also use this one i can freely use my pen to demonstrate for example i'm teaching uh, series parallel circuit you can draw the circuit for example in front of your students you are creating the circuit and then let them will solve it later okay so this is the source Okay, so for example, this is the source, this is R1, this is R2, R3, R4. You can show to them how we can solve this circuit. For example, we are asked to find the, uh, the total resistance. You can change also the thickness of the total resistance for example so to find the total resistance we can actually first we need to combine these two okay and then we call this as R parallel so to solve this one R parallel is equal to R3 multiplied by R4 divided by R3 plus R4. Okay. And then after sol solving that one, the circuit will reduce to this is the R parallel, this is the R1, R2. So therefore, the total resistance will be, since this is already in series, R1 plus R2 plus R parallel. So that is the total resistance. This is just an example. Okay. So this whiteboard is very important. So if, if your organization or college has a Microsoft team, this uh, Microsoft my whiteboard is actually embedded to integrated to Office 365. The administrator should should uh, enable the uh, whiteboard Microsoft whiteboard in Microsoft Teams so that it will be available during the meeting. So I'm gonna clean again this one. For example, I want to import a PDF. So, for example, this is my PDF. I'm going to click this one. Okay, so this is my PDF file. So, for example, I want to choose this one. Click this one and then... Click insert selected 
okay so this is the selected so you can use your mouse uh, mouse wheel to make it big and to increase the size of the so from here for example you have the PDF already posted you can use the highlighter if you want to highlight something to your students so you can choose any letter for example you want to highlight something so this one okay I, use, I choose this one so for example you want to highlight this one and then just increase the, the size so you can highlight everything okay so if you have problem solving to be in a pdf form you can import here and then let them solve the problem okay so again you're gonna have clear and then add if you want an image you can select an image also so for a sample of my image is this one I want a good image for example this one open so and it will be open so in this case you can use your mouse again to make it big to make it bigger sorry all right so this is my image and then again clear the canvas so basically this is how we can use digital microsoft white whiteboard together with your tablet to effectively make a collaborative teaching online with your students once again in this case i'm using obs as my recording uh, device laptop have with the uh, microsoft whiteboard and my wacom tablet so and I'm going back to okay so that's basically how we can utilize how the use of uh, Microsoft whiteboard you just have to explore and navigate the different uh, tools available in Microsoft whiteboard for your online teaching it's very very effective to collaborate with our students online so once again, thank you so much for watching this video. So if you are new to my channel, just hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, should, bell should that, so that you will be updated to my next upload. So thank you so much.